Welcome to the Devworm channel and today we're going to be creating an amazing camera for our episode 3 of the how to make an action RPG series in which I teach you step by step how to create an amazing RPG game in Godot. But before we get started I just want to ask if you could please go and hit the subscribe button and leave a like on this video as it helps YouTube push this series to more people so more inspiring game developers just like you can learn to make their own games as well but let's get started with adding a smooth camera to our rpg so to get started let's go and add our player to our world scene this is our world scene from last episode and as when we play or when we play the game you can see we can't really see much we only see the top corner we can't move we can't really do anything but we also don't have a player but if we go up here click on the world we can click on this little chain symbol here which is to instance a child scene and the player is a child scene the world's a child scene but this would duplicate it which we don't really want but we want to add the player since it's a different scene so if we click this we open it it's going to add the player so any change we make on this scene is going to automatically be put onto this player if that makes sense so if i was to make any change on this scene it will put it or it will apply to this this little player on the world already right we can move this anywhere we'll move this up here to like a starting position and if we play the game we have a working player because we created that in episode two so go check out that episode if you want to learn how to make a working player as well with running and everything but if we go over here we just walk off screen and we also have zero collisions but the collisions we're gonna fix the collisions next episode so collisions are next episode but let's get the camera knocked out this episode and the way we're going to do this is we're going to go up to our, our world here and we're going to click on the plus button and the plus button is going to allow us to add a new node we'll add the camera 2d now the camera 2d we're going to end up moving over to the player scene but we will do that in just a second so the camera 2d this is what we want to do with it that we want to limit right because or we'll make this the current first so we can see it see the purple little, the purple line is our camera that's what the camera sees we want it to stop when it gets to here we want it to stop when it gets here right we don't want it to be able to go like this and be off the map to where we see gray we want it to stop here here and we just want it to stop like all right here we want it to be able to move freely in this area but not pass into the gray area and how are we going to do this well we have a little limit function here on a camera. There's a ton of options on the camera. We're not going to be using almost, oh yeah, we're basically not going to use almost anything except the limit function and the transform function, which is the position. But the limit function, this allows you to know like where it stops. So this is the left side, right? This is the left, top, right, bottom. This is the left side of the camera. Now, if we zoom in, we can put this little middle piece on the edge pixel and if you look down at the transform down here you can kind of see it moving around this is the uh the pixel so this pixel right here is 48.582 that's the position of this little cross right now so if we copy this and we paste it on the left area it will round up but that doesn't matter because look now you can see the camera it goes infinitely this way anywhere but once it gets there, it stops, right? It, you can't go past this. You cannot go past this point. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the right side and we'll do the same thing. We will put it on the edge. We will go down here and we will copy the X position, put it onto the right. And now it works both ways. So we can't go past this on the left. We can go infinitely up, but we can never go past this on the left, right? So it will always stop there no matter what. Now we can go up here to the top, which we will put our cursor there. We will copy the Y this time because top and bottom are on the Y axis. So that will be the Y and same with the bottom. The bottom will also be the Y axis as well. So we can go and we can put this on the edge, copy the Y, paste it in the bottom area. We can turn on smooth. So it will kind of like smooth everything out as we move with the camera but now you can see you can move this around infinitely it will always stay in this area no matter what no matter if the camera 2d is way over here you will only be seeing what's inside the purple so that works right but now let's say we play the game and we move our character 
the camera doesn't move, does it? But we can see more of the map because our camera is bigger than what it used to be. Or is bigger than the default. But now you can see that it kind of shows everything. But it doesn't move. So let's fix that. So we're not going to... Uh, yeah, we're not gonna have it on the world scene. We're gonna transfer it over to the player scene and to do this We're just gonna go click on the camera 2d here. We will copy the camera 2d. We'll click on the player scene We will click on the little player up here and we will Control V we'll paste it and now we have the camera and if we move the camera It will only stay in these areas right because we all the positions and everything are the same as they were over here on the world now we can go to the camera 2d on the world and we can click on delete now, if we are to play the game, everything will will not work because let me show you why. If we go to the player, the player is here. So whenever the player spawns here, the camera. Yeah, see, it shows right here. The camera is going to be way over here. It's always going to be pointing here. And to fix that, we can move this player to the middle of this camera, which I don't think it's going to move freely at all. Yeah, because the camera is also going to move. So what we can do is we can just move it into this area. We'll just move it into this area somewhere. Then we'll get the camera 2D and we'll move the camera 2D on top of the player. And just like that, if we go over to our world scene, you will see everything works like a charm. Now, we walk all the way over here. We can't see past the trees. We can't see past up there. You see, you see zero gray. You're only on the map. You can only see stuff on the map, which is perfect. And I see, I mean, you see these trees, how we're walking on top of them. This will all be fixed next episode. Collision, so we won't be able to walk up here. This will all be fixed. We'll be able to go behind this tree here and in front of the tree. We can already go in front of the tree, but we'll be able to go behind the tree as well. And this is just a small, quick, quick tutorial for episode three of the RPG series. And uh, I just wanted to add a good camera to the game. But the episodes have a better aesthetic now that we have a working camera, a working map, a working player with a bunch of good art. And uh, we're going to be creating a bunch more things in future episodes to get to the end goal and the final game that you see on screen right now. But thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next episode. And until next time, have a wonderful rest of your day.